Oh, hello everyone, and welcome to the triumphant return of Mogulween! Our month-long celebration of everything creepy, gory, and Halloween-ish. Smoke in a can! It's something we've been doing for a while. More smoke. Now a lot of you have been asking us to revisit some of our old builds. So this week we are improving on one of our all time favorite creepy props, the fake hand, which you also directly asked for. This new fake hand will be more realistic and disgusting than any of our previous versions. But the best part is you can use the same techniques to create a fake foot or fake ear or penis. What? Now in this episode, I'm actually gonna create two versions of the fake hand. One that has some exposed bone sticking out of the wrist, which would be great for a haunted house. And a second version that has a hidden blood pack so you can stab it and it'll bleed. This version is more of a special effect and would be great for your next DIY horror movie. All right, everyone, enough of me making faces and talking. Let's get started. Step one, make the mold. We're gonna be using a material called alginate, which is a powder that when mixed with water becomes a sort of flexible solid. Like most alginate, this one requires you to mix an equal volume of powder and water. For my hand, I mixed about 80 ounces of each. Before mixing though, I needed to make an arm shaped container. So I taped two of these buckets together, then cut off the top. I used a mud whip attached to my drill and mixed the crap out of it. As soon as you mix these together, remember that the clock is ticking and this time is reduced if you use warm water. Now put your hand in whatever shape you want the fake hand to end up with. I plan on mailing this severed hand to my friends over at Threadbanger who have a thing for flipping the bird. Sorry mom. Now just stick your hand in the bucket, crack open your favorite seasonal pumpkin beer and wait for the alginate to harden. After about 13 minutes, I was able to wiggle my hand free and my mold was done. Step two, make some fake bones. First, grab two wooden dowels. Next, measure from about the middle of your palm to a few inches past where you want the bone to stick out. Chop these down to size, then using wire clippers or shears, cut off one end of each dowel at an odd angle, making sure the cut looks kind of craggly. Because bones aren't a perfect cylinder, next sand grooves and imperfections into the end of the dowel. Next, paint them white and hot glue them together in a slight V formation. I also glued on a piece of popsicle stick to strengthen it. Voila, fake wrist bones. Step three, mix up some fake skin. Now our fake hands are gonna be made of material called silicone. This stuff is messy, kind of expensive, but is definitely the best tool for the job. It's also the same material we use to make our fake baby limbs in this episode. Just like before, we're going to pour the same volume of part A and part B into separate cups. To color the silicone, you have to add special pigments to part B. I just reused the custom color I whipped up for the fake baby, then mixed part A and B together. Just like with the alginate, once you mix these two parts together, you only have a certain amount of time until the mixture hardens. So you better be quick. First, I poured just a small amount of the mixture into the mold and sloshed it around to try and remove any air bubbles. Then I poured in the rest. Then I added my fake bones using clamps and a paint stick to keep it in place. Before the silicone totally cured, I took some of the extra material and tinted it dark red, then globbed it on top where the stump will be. If you continue to agitate it right up to the curing time, you can get a really gross ripped flesh effect. Step four, demold and paint. If you're careful enough to demold your fake hand without tearing the mold, you can actually cast a second fake hand before the mold goes bad, which is exactly what I did. To finish up our zombie middle fingers, I did some detail painting with more of our silicone pigments watered down in lighter fluid. Step five, make it bleed. Now it's time for the second version of our fake hand and this one starts off exactly the same way as the first one. I mixed up my alginate, this time using a little more, made my container, stuck my hand in and waited, sadly this time without beer, then demolded. Time for blood. First I mixed up some classic DIY fake blood. Corn syrup, red food coloring, a tiny bit of blue food coloring, chocolate syrup, and a dab of black finger paint. To hold our blood, I first had the super clever idea of using a bunch of balloon animal style balloon, which I thought might act as a bunch of arterial reservoir things. Yeah, it didn't work at all. So I busted out the good old Jimmy hats and filled one with blood. Ugh. 
Ugh. I then super glued it onto our wrist and added some clear tape so all the blood wouldn't sag to the bottom. Then to finish up, I did all the same stuff as before. Mixed up and colored my silicone, poured it into the fake mold, added the bones, made the stump look super duper gory, demolded it, and painted it. Step six, stab it. All right guys, we finished the fake hand with the blood pack. I'm about to invite Pisha, my girlfriend down here, and ask her to stab it. And we're gonna see if this thing works. Dun, 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 dun. Ah, uh, you're so bright. One, two, three. Oh. Strike one. Okay. Should I hold it down? No, I'm afraid for your hand. Oh, look at that. You can see the balloon up there. Oh, uh, strike two. One, two, three. Oh. oh, that was cool, though. That was awesome. Ooh, that's Can I do great. it again? Yeah, do it. Go crazy. <laughs> Don't stab my hand. <laughs> Ooh, you created a monster in me. All right, good job. I thought I was gonna freak you out, but you freaked me out. Can we play some more now? Uh, okay, back to the show. Ah, creeping out your friends and family. The true spirit of Halloween, also candy. All right, everyone, that wraps up this episode of Eric Builds the Movies, but fear not, we will be back next week with more Mogaween goodness. See you then.